So this question is uh, the information provided for this question is here. It's also the same information that we'll use for question 38. Um, the question says a botanist is cultivating a rare species of plant in a controlled environment and currently has 3,000 of these plants. So I'm going to say 3,000 plants. The population of this species that the botanist expects to grow next year can be estimated from the number of plants this year, right? So the 3,000, by the equation below. Okay, so we have this equation here to figure out how many plants the botanist will have a year from now. The constant K in this formula is the number of plants the environment is able to support. Okay, so that's good to know. All right, so the question actually says, according to the formula, what will be the number of plants two years from now? All right, so I want to find, so two years means next year plus like another next year, right? And I'm just using these terms because that's how, that's how they have it here. So I'm going to do this process twice. So I'm going to start off with, well, for next year, so in, I'll just say one for one year from now, is equal to in this year, which is 3,000 plants, plus 0 0.2 times in this year, which again is 3,000 plants. And then I have one minus those 3,000 plants divided by K, which is, according to the question, 4,000. So what I have here when I simplify is 3,000 plus 0 0.2 times 3,000 times, so 3,000 divided by 4,000 is 0.75. 1 minus 0 0.75 is 0 0.25, okay? So then I go to my calculator and I can calculate all of that and 0 0.2 times 3,000 times 0.25 equals 150. So all of that is 150. I still have my 3,000 from here. Therefore, the population of plants one year from today will equal 3,150. All right, so then to find two years from today, then I'm going to say, well, that would be like doing this process twice, like I mentioned before. So now my number is no longer 3,000. It's going to be 3,150 right here. So 3,150 plus 0 0.2 times 3,150 times 1 minus 3,150 over 4,000. And I'll erase this so I have space. So let's keep doing the math. There's a lot of math here, but so far it's pretty simple math. So that's that's pretty good. So I'm going to start. I'm going to start here. 3,150, so 3,150 divided by 4,000 is equal to 0 0.7875. When I do 1 minus that 0 0.7875, I get 0 0.2, so I get 0 0.2125. So I'm multiplying all that by my 3,150 and my 0 0.2. So times 3,150 times 0.2, just went in reverse order, right? You could have done 0.2 times 3150 times 0.2125. Um, I get 133.875, and I'm adding that to my 3150. So all together, I'm going to say that from two years from now, I should have 3,283.875. Um, it wants us around to the nearest whole number, so that's going to be 3,284 should be the right answer.